Maybe youngsters should change the channel for this part. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 darkest moments in kids shows. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the most mature and disturbing moments from TV shows aimed at young audiences. Since some of these dark turns involve important plot points, a spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10. Zim's Organ-Filled Body, Invader Zim When the nurse examines you, she'll notice that you don't have human organs. The alien Zim tries his best to blend in with humans on Earth, but when he's sent to the nurse's office, his rival Dib points out that the alien lacks human organs. Say, you're full of organs, aren't you? Zim decides to steal as many organs as he can to fool the nurse. The scenes of the alien hunting down his fellow students would fit perfectly in a horror film. I don't feel so good. On top of that, the stolen organs are replaced with objects that disfigure the bodies of his victims. But in the end, it's Zim's bloated body that succeeds in both fooling the nurse and unsettling any kids who see it. <laughs> Number 9. Apocalyptic Hometown – The Powerpuff Girls The whole weekend away from… The city of Townsville. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup spend a lot of time using their powers to save the city of Townsville. When they get a vacation after a day of kindergarten, they eagerly race home. However, they move fast enough to accidentally travel 50 years into the future. Professor, it's us, the Powerpuff Girls. Stay back. Leave me alone. They discover their absence has ruined the city, while their creator and friends have been twisted beyond recognition. It leads to a scene where everyone in Townsville, including the new evil overlord, blames them for leaving. We bet younger audiences were thankful for just having chores, because this sequence gave the heroic kindergartners a heavy dose of responsibility. You did this. You did this. Number 8. Covering Up Murder – SpongeBob SquarePants I call it the Nasty Patty. Who hides a dead body under the sea? SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs thought they did. The duo attempts to get revenge on a health inspector with a disgusting burger. Before he takes a bite, the inspector chokes on a fly. Believing the burger killed him, SpongeBob and Krabs try to bury the body in secret. This entry might have ranked higher if the health inspector had actually died. Gotta get rid of this body before anyone sees it. We gotta take it out and bury it. In reality, the inspector keeps getting knocked unconscious leading to a series of darkly hilarious scenes. Where am I? Despite the humor, the idea of the innocent SpongeBob carrying out and covering up a murder took this series into some dark waters. His head's sticking out! Sorry, Mr. Krabs. I thought he might need some air. They don't need air where he's going. Number 7. Batgirl's Death – The New Batman Adventures Barbara Gordon lives a dual life as both the daughter of the police commissioner and the heroine Batgirl. Her split identities come to an end when the villain Scarecrow surprises Barbara and pushes her off a building where she falls to her death. The death itself is surprisingly realistic and scary, especially the sound of her landing on the hood of a car. The fact that it's her father's car adds another layer of horror. Fortunately, it's later revealed that Barbara's death was a hallucination caused by Scarecrow's fear gas. Although we know it's fake, the death of Batgirl may have looked and felt all too real to kids. No! 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 <sighs> Number 6. Robin's Invisible Enemy – Teen Titans <laughs> Some people can't escape their past. After Robin looks at a mask of his defeated nemesis Slade, he begins to see the villain everywhere. Robin becomes obsessed with trying to capture his foe, but keeps getting beat up. When he asks his teammates for help during a fight, they reveal that Slade isn't there. Slade ran right by you! How could you let him get away? But, Robin, there was no one there. Robin's struggle against an invisible enemy who keeps hurting him has strong parallels to real-life mental illness. Slade must be cloaking them, just like he's cloaking himself. That's why you couldn't see him. If the show's younger audience didn't get the metaphor, then the sight of their hero beaten and desperate was still hard to watch. Either way, this imaginary foe left a dark mark. 
There is no Slade. I know what I saw! I have to stop him. Number five, the Earth Queen suffocates. The Legend of Korra. Gag those two. We're almost there. The Legend of Korra may have played for kids on Nickelodeon, but it had plenty of mature moments for its older fan base. One of its darkest scenes came from Zaheer, a villain who could manipulate air. Zaheer aims to rid the world of Avatar Korra. When Earth Kingdom soldiers capture Korra, he convinces the Earth Queen to deliver the Avatar into his clutches. But after their deal falls apart, Zaheer suffocates the Queen by bending the air out of her lungs. I don't believe in queens. Her red face and literal grasp for air are nightmare-inducing images. It's a horrifying execution that's sure to disturb younger viewers with its absolute brutality. And without it, there is no life. There is only darkness. Number four, lost and nearly scrapped, Thomas and Friends. Stetney arrived on time and made the delivery of rock and stones for the workmen. Getting lost can be scary at any age. For a train, it can be deadly. After tank engine Stepney works into the night, he gets confused by fog and takes a wrong turn that takes him into a scrapyard. While his passengers run for help, two diesel engines come along and force him into a smelter shed to destroy him. Bye bye, Stepney, said the diesel. Is the message here that getting lost can lead to a horrible death? Or that bullies can do whatever they want to a defenseless person? This engine's not for scrapping, shouted Stepney. Judging by Stepney's terrified voice, the message doesn't matter. He wanted to live, and fans wanted a lighter episode. Shaving you from scrap is getting to be a habit, Stepney. Please stop it. Number three, Stephen's rapid aging, Stephen Universe. And the birthday queen is Amethyst. All Stephen wants to do is celebrate some birthdays with his magical gem family. But when their lack of enthusiasm for parties makes him feel old, his magical powers begin to age him. What if birthdays are just for little kids? What if even I'm too old? By the end of the episode, he's an old man on the edge of death. Seeing Steven withered and helpless is a horrifying sight. The moment becomes even more tragic as he tries to come to peace with his impending doom. I'm too old for this. If any viewers have watched an elderly loved one struggle through health issues, this scene may look all too familiar. Aging is inevitable, but it doesn't always have to look this bleak. Oh, Steven! <laughs> Number two, Fatal Overdose, Captain Planet and the Planeteers. Go on, get list out. The Planeteers have had to deal with more than just environmental issues. In one episode, the Planeteer Linka goes to visit her cousin Boris, only to find that he's hooked on a street drug called Bliss. Although she refuses his offer to sample Bliss, he sneaks a pill into her food. So I stopped using it. Thank you for setting me straight. But his cruel deception isn't the darkest part. Boris is later offered an entire bottle of Bliss if he's willing to kill Planeteers. And all you have to do is give those planet punks a little push. Once the pills arrive, Boris swallows all the drugs at once, overdoses, and dies. Linka is left without a cousin, and kids are left with a grim message about drug use. Boris, it's me, Linka! Wake up! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Bye, Danny. Thanks for... Oh, no. Uh... No! Where are you taking me? Please don't eat me! That's not a very good sign. Number one, extinction event, dinosaurs. He's the last bunch beetle, because all the others were wiped out by the We Say So Corporation. Series finales don't get much darker than this. Dinosaurs was a kid-friendly sitcom about the daily life of talking prehistoric creatures. In the last episode, Charlene Sinclair discovers that a bug species was killed off by a corporation's poison. Uh, poison is such a harsh word. We on the task force prefer to think of it as botanical bye-bye juice. Uh. When the company responsible is exposed, they place her father Earl in charge of fixing things. However, his attempts to solve the problems keep causing ecological disasters and irreversible damage to the environment. By the end of the episode, there's no food, no sun, and no hope left. Daddy was put in charge of the world, and he didn't take real good care of it. 
This series was supposed to be a comedy, but there's nothing funny about its depressing ending. This is Howard Hand Up Me. Good night. Goodbye. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.